So no fuel of that one. Nope. It's just past dawn and fuel's not the only thing Michelle's running low on. This has been a nightmare because we don't have time in between clients to stop. Time lost looking for diesel in Hemel Hempstead means she's already 15 minutes behind on her care round. Oh yes, this is the key. Waiting at this garage is about to delay her further. Does this throw you out for the rest of the day now then, Michelle? Yeah, it will make me late for every client. They need their dinner, they need their lunch, they need pad changes, and it's just put, it had a big knock-on effect. Number two. OK. She does finally get to the front, but Michelle is now an hour late for her first call. Morning, Vera. It's a delay 94-year-old Vera cannot afford. Did you sleep well? No. She's now lying in a wet bed. All right, well... You just lay there and just got to turn your head and see when anyone's coming. You're just lying there waiting. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just gone 10 o'clock now and the queue is twice as long as when Michelle filled up this morning. She's going to have to come through this traffic to get to her next appointment. And here they have now run out of diesel. Locally, there are contingency plans in place to get key workers to the front of this line. But councils tell me they need central government to activate them. We might have to cover one of your calls. Back at, at head office, up. another carer's low on petrol as the whole sector runs short of patients. If we had priority for the healthcare workers, emergency services, I think that would just clear all of this out. But at the moment, as you've just heard, she's tried all three local stations, nothing. Bye, Vera. Carers hope petrol pumps will be replenished in the coming days. There are some things clients like Vera cannot afford to run dry of. Paul Brandt, ITV News. Hemel Hempstead.